I recently added this new uplift adjustable height desk to my brand new YouTube production studio here at my house. Now what I love about this desk is it's an adjustable height desk. So I can set it where I can stand behind it for product demonstrations like this one I did for Wagner paint products. Or I can lower it down and sit behind the desk in a chair for a video like this one I did for CruiseReport.com or even my Cruise Man's Garage videos like this recent one I did for Pathfinder LED. Now it wouldn't be a Cruise Man's Garage video if I didn't show you how I put this desk together. The uplift desk arrived in three separate boxes and two of them are quite heavy. In fact, you'll probably need some help getting these into your house. Obviously, the desktop is the heaviest piece and that's the large piece in the back. And I ordered the 60 inch tabletop. Uh, it also comes in a 48, comes in different sizes. The box at the very front of the picture was also quite heavy, so you're probably going to need some help. I brought everything into the room where I'm going to actually be assembling the desk and using it. I opened the lightest box first, and inside I found the feet for the desk, the side brackets, a couple of plastic grommets, and of course the electronic control unit. As you can see in this picture, everything is packaged really well with good foam inserts to protect all the components. The heavier of the two smaller boxes included the legs for the desk, which also have the motors integrated into them, the crossbar end pieces, and the crossbar rails. There's also a wire management box included with the desk and all the necessary hardware for assembly. And lastly, an owner's manual. I should point out that the manual covers every single aspect of assembling this desk. It is extremely well written and detailed, but easy to read and understand. One of the best manuals I've seen. Also, all of the hardware that comes with this desk is clearly labeled and separated into plastic bags. I chose to lay everything out on the floor, even unboxing the desktop, just so I could make sure I could see everything and I knew that all the parts were ready to go. And then it was time to start assembly. The first parts to be assembled are the legs of the desk being attached to the crossbar ends. This is where I first noticed the quality of the hardware included with the desk. All of the fasteners are super high quality. In most places, they use an Allen wrench and Allen head uh, screws, which make them very secure and very easy to attach. And everything is just machined so well, everything fits together really nicely. Here's what the legs look like with the crossbar ends attached to them. And I've also already added the little side brackets that have the name uplift on them. Now it's time to lay the desktop down on the floor so that we can begin the process of attaching the legs to the desktop. After carefully laying the leg assembly with the crossbar ends onto the desktop, you then insert the crossbar rails. Now I already had these inserted on this side, and now I'm going to place the other leg on the other side of the desktop. And you can see how the holes line up perfectly with the threads in the tabletop or the desktop. You can, of course, carefully uh, slide the legs around if you need to position them to get the holes to line up properly. Here's a pro tip. You can use a magnetizer to magnetize the little Allen wrench they give you in the kit, and that will help the little screws kind of keep from falling off if you are working in a tight place. Now here I'm putting the washers and the screws in place to attach the legs and those crossbar ends to the desktop itself. And for these fasteners, uh, Uplift has chosen to use some Phillips screws. 
And here we're using another washer and Phillips screw to attach the side brackets to the underside of the desktop. So with the first leg assembly in place, I'm now ready to put the second leg onto the desk. And you'll notice those little crossbar rails, uh, they will slip into the second leg. And we will center those rails here in just a little bit. But first I want to get this second leg installed. You can see how they just kind of slide right in to those crossbar ends. And just like we did with the first leg on the other side, we're just going to use the washers and those Phillips screws to attach the second leg to the tabletop. I want to emphasize again, all I did was just follow the instructions in the manual. It was so well written and the hardware is so well organized, you really can't screw it up. After lining up the center marks on the crossbar rails, it's time to install the four set screws on each side that hold those crossbar rails in place. And these uh, I tightened pretty well. Uh, you want everything eventually, you want everything tightened down. Now they also give you a nice little plastic handle to go on this Allen wrench, which they include in the hardware. And that gives you a little bit more leverage so that you can uh, tighten these a little firmer. I ordered the upgraded electronic control panel, which has four memory settings, and it attaches very simply with just two Phillips screws. Okay, so we're going to install the control box. The power cable here needs to be facing away from wherever you mount your control panel. I mounted mine on the right side of the desk. So this needs to be facing to the left. And this control box, you can see these little tabs and they slip into those slots right there. So we'll just turn it upside down or right side up, whichever way you want to look at it. And just kind of slip it into place right there. And now it is mounted to the desk. Next, we're going to plug in our little controller here, which is like a Cat5 uh, connector, into, maybe hard to see, but there's one labeled HS. There's actually two ports down here, but we're going to insert it into the one labeled HS. Next, we're going to connect the right side motor power connector into the control box. An extension cable is provided to connect the opposite leg motor to the control box, and I'm hooking those up now. And then we'll run the other end of that extension cable over to the power control box. Now it's time to install the feet onto the bottom part of the legs. Of course, we're working upside down. Each of the feet are held in place with four Allen screws. Here I'm using that included Allen wrench handle so I can get more torque to really tighten down these screws. Uplift also includes some of these really handy and clever cable ties with some adhesive tape to the bottom so that you can stick these to the underside of the desk. This keeps your excess cables from just hanging down and looking ugly. So you can use as many of these or as few of these as you want and just kind of pick a good place on the bottom of the desk to attach your cables. And here is what the desk looks like once it's turned over and into position. Now you'll definitely need someone to help you to turn this desk over. I love the fact that this desk can go from about 25 and a half inches all the way up to 50 and a half inches high. 
and I love the digital readout on this control panel so I can see exactly the height of the desk and I can set up to four memory settings. I've been using this uplift adjustable desk for a little more than a month and so far I really love it. It has lived up to all my expectations. Now if you're interested in one of these desks for yourself, they have all different types of varieties and colors and sizes, check their website. I'll put it in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.